welcome to today's video we are at phoenix the second to last race of the season i really don't want to talk about it right yet because the title will become self-explanatory very fast but i do want to mention that i did hit 100 subscribers yesterday so thank you guys for that and was able to set up a custom url which is youtube.com slash dreamer gaming psn and that's where you guys can go to check out the rest of my videos it's awesome to finally have a custom U uh, youtube url and so i did say that when i hit 100 that i would do a 24 hour race that will likely be a week from tuesday because i was going to do it next weekend but i work friday and although i have saturday and sunday off i will be watching the races so it makes it a whole lot more complicated and spread out so to avoid the risk of running into monday night we're going to do tuesday and wednesday try knocking out half the race on tuesday and the other half on wednesday i still haven't fully decided what i want to do because the original plan was to do the um, northern isles on grand turismo sport and use my uh that nismo prototype car or whatever it is but the only thing more boring about having that in a diversified race is having it in a single car race. Because like in a diversified race, there's one other driver that has it. And like I normally do 50 laps because that counts for well, 10 minutes, which is 50 laps in that vehicle. Which counts for the daily miles driven goal. But even in that, we still, the two of us tend to put several laps on the field so i'm pr i would predict 4500 to 500 laps around that track because i've never done it without with pit stops so i'm not exactly sure but it's somewhere in that ballpark and i venture to say that everybody else would be at least 100 to a thousand laps down on us and that's just not interesting they're they're just all there serving to be as obstacles and then you got the single car race and it's not any harder to get to the front of the field from last in that but you have the downside of you don't really lap them so really it's 24 hours of leading them around unless i make mistakes type deal so i just don't see that being any interesting either so i'm more than likely going to go to project cars pick one of the oval courses because the whole i'm planning the live stream be called the 24 hours of turning lat and so i definitely need to do a road not a road course but an oval so i think texas and indianapolis maybe even daytona is the ones that are on there maybe interesting to run a 24 hours daytona on the oval itself instead of the road course but i better decide that and that way i can do the class system so we have top tier which i'll pick a car from that battling for the overall win then you have a slightly lower tier that will be some like hopefully will be somewhat competitive but in the end will serve as an obstacle and then a lower tier car where they're out there running the race but they're the obstacle so we've got a variety of racing plus throw in the weather variable on that game i also had a look at the damage he is not doing full damage mainly because if i get wrecked out of the race well i gotta check if i can get back to the pits with full damage and see what happens but like if it's full damage i'm out of the race type thing then i get 13 hours into that race and boom i'm out of the race because i did something stupid or they did something stupid and the race is over well before scheduled to be over so look for hopefully that'll be a week from tuesday as long as i don't twerk my schedule but 
that's it for right now. I'll be back for the outro where I'll explain the mess that fastly will become this race.
Well, as the title says, it went as planned, and then quickly it went south. Now, I finally, finally get a field strategy where I can lap the field and make it to the end of the stage. Now, at the end of the stage, I probably smartly should have pitted because I think I had enough to make it to the end by pitting then. Not 100% sure. But that would have brought everybody else under the lead lap. And I didn't what well not everybody but most everybody I got under the lead lap. Which I didn't quite want. I wanted to keep them down. But in my greediness to keep them down they decided let's lean on them. Let's hammer them. And I got that one car that leans on me leans on me until I wreck and then the game compounds it by saying okay you're one lap down you're one lap down you're one lap down you're two laps down okay caution out well not to me but like to the cars like as they go by like so basically everybody who's a lap down got by and then the caution waves it's like that's complete and utter BS like I wreck in front of the field and you wait until they get their lap back to let them on by like it's just seriously you, you should have thrown the caution when you normally do instead of setting me out to fail like that. So, as you saw, I didn't care anymore and it went wreck fest because I just didn't care. Like, the game wanted to mess with me, so I'm going to mess with the game. And, as you can see, like, I messed with the game so hard. That it doesn't even know what happened. Because as you'll see in a moment. Everybody finished at least one lap down. Including the leader. Which is absolutely impossible. How can you be. How can the leader be a lap down. Like that. You, you can't. It just so. Like the game got what it had coming to it. And hopefully they don't mess with me at home setting. Home said the plan is to run it as normal and if I don't win the championship like you'll see the video as it's run normally but then I'm just gonna knock down the difficulty and grab that trophy so I don't have to deal with it well actually I, well, actually, I may not because I'm gonna be grabbing the trophy in 2018 season and still got a bit to do on that hopefully we get that done soon but Thank you for watching. Thank you for 100 subscribers. And as always, see you guys next time.